Scientists just created a humanoid robot with actual synthetic organs and water-powered muscles. This isn't sci-fi, it's happening right now. Clone Robotics is launching Clone Alpha, a revolutionary robot that's built differently from anything we've seen before. Instead of using traditional metal and motors, they've created artificial versions of human body parts. Picture this. The robot has 206 synthetic bones connected by artificial ligaments, just like us. Its muscles are made from something called myofibers that use water pressure to move. These artificial muscles are insanely efficient. Just three grams of material can lift a kilogram and they contract in less than 50 milliseconds. The most mind-blowing part, Clone Alpha has a complete vascular system powered by a 500 watt pump that moves water through its body similar to how blood flows through our veins. The upper body alone has 164 points where it can move, and each hand has 26 different ways it can bend and twist. They're already taking pre-orders for the first 279 units. While they haven't shown the complete robot in action yet, they've proven their tech works with demonstrations of individual parts like the robotic hand and torso. Their water-powered arm could lift a seven kilometer dumbbell three years ago. The robot uses something called CyberNet to process visual information through four depth cameras, helping it understand and interact with its environment. The founders want these robots to eventually help us with everyday tasks at home and work. Here's the wild part. This biomimetic approach could change everything we know about robotics. Instead of trying to make machines that look human on the outside, Clone is building robots that actually work like humans on the inside Will this be the future of robotics? Clone still needs to prove they can make all these synthetic organs work together in a full robot. But if they pull it off, we might be looking at the first generation of robots that move and function almost exactly like humans do. The line between artificial and biological just got a whole lot blurrier. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Future Lens for the latest in tech news and innovation.